In this video I'm going to make a replica of a hexagonal lampshade from the film Blade Runner. The prop which contains transparent photographs on its six luminescent panels only appears momentarily on the supervisor's desk when Deckard is forced into his office and essentially blackmailed out of retirement to do some more retiring. To really appreciate the movie Blade Runner you have to accept at some level Batman is a shit and then watch the fifth series of the television program Angel. Reginald D. Hunter summarises quite fittingly in his observation, Batman is a conservative's wet dream, fuck Batman. I'll try and explain. Bruce Wayne, an early archetype of the modern American hero, transcends the implicit racism of the cowboy, becoming a metaphor for the aspirational classes. Bruce Wayne is after all an industrialist and billionaire, who had he not adorned the costume of a bat, could be yet another cocaine-sniffing sadist in a suit. He has at his disposal assets and resources to fund the most flamboyant vigilantism ever imagined, and despite his tremendous influence, the Cape Crusader, a medieval epithet, spends his time beating up the man on the street corner. He cannot see beyond individual responsibility and into the murky conditions which influence action. To reiterate, Batman is a conservative's wet dream, fuck Batman. The movie Blade Runner is the antithesis of Batman and everything he represents. Harrison Ford's Deckard character, a tortured bounty hunter, is essentially trying to achieve Batman's ultimate goal of ridding the world of imaginative characters, however doesn't have the comforts of a mansion, a butler and the millionaire's resources at his disposal. He fumbles through Ridley Scott's dystopian future as a surrogate hero until the real protagonist is revealed in Rutger Hauer's notorious soliloquy. He's seen things you people wouldn't believe, but you people believe things you've never seen. Without advanced computer generated effects, the future landscape of Blade Runner was created by borrowing from a yesterday's present, a present that today feels precariously on the edge of a new dystopian nightmare. It is not surprising to know that Harrison Ford was considered for the role of Batman, or that Donald Trump supporters imagine him as a real life Bruce Wayne. The lie is pervasive, but if white America told the truth for just one day, its world would fall apart and Harrison Ford could only play working class roles. In Rutger Hauer's soliloquy he gives an appraisal for struggle. Forced to fight for justice which so easily becomes revenge, the audience is invited to sympathise, if ever so slightly, with the universal terrorist. Attack ships on fire off the shore of Orion could be helicopters in yet another conflict. He watched sea beams glitter in the dark near the Tannhauser gate like flares from a sinking ship and all those moments, like bought lies, will be lost in time like tears in the rain. When the film went over budget, which is the opposite of austerity, Ridley Scott was effectively fired as director and the studio had the final say on key artistic decisions within the movie. The planned ending was axed and replaced with a montage from a Spielberg movie, finishing on a positive note. Guy gets girl and drives into the sunset but real life is more complicated than the Hollywood studio ending. 